Hey guys, today is Tuesday. It is the 28th and I do believe that the last video you guys seen from me was from the camping trip and um, in that video I was had said that we were going to go walk down by the lake and I was going to do different shops, you know, show you guys around the park basically and um, did that and that memory card got full. I switched it out to this card that's in the camera now. I got home and I can't find the card. Um, I thought I put it with the rest of the camera stuff. I don't know where it is. When the next time I go down to the camper, I will look around again to see if I can't find it. I don't know that the card's gone. In any case, uh, also in that video, I mentioned that, you know, we've cut the trip short. Um, by a few days because Dan was, you know, there were some issues with his nephew and I can get into that now. So, uh, basically what happened, well, first of all, uh, first of all, first of all, many years ago, um, he'd had a heart attack and they had put a um, defibrillator in and um, so he... You know, for many, many years now, he's had a defibrillator. So, uh, he was sitting, watching TV one evening, and um, it went off a couple of times. And so, he went to the hospital and found out he had some blockages. He had one, there were, I think, three, because he had a triple bypass. But, in any case, yes, he did have a triple bypass. And he did well with that. And so, you know, we got home and came home early and Dan, you know, flew out to Houston and was there for about a week and a half. And, uh, you know, was helping them out quite a bit because Candy, his wife, um, I've never really talked about it. I'm, I'm just gonna be real short with it because I, you know, it's just, I'm not too sure if I should say too much, but uh, she's not doing that well. And so he flew out when Dan flew out, you know, for a week and a half and was kind of helping her with him, with his nephew. And so, um, but yes, prayers are definitely still needed where she is concerned. Uh, Steve, on the other hand, did very well with the surgery. Um, better than I expected, actually, you know, to be honest. And, uh, but yeah, he did really well and it's recovering well. So, that happened. Um... Other than that, not a whole hell of a lot. I did go, we did go over to my niece's house uh, last week and um, picked up a china hutch, and I'll show you guys that later. And, you know, spent some time with them, went to dinner, and it was nice. And um, it was good. I need to get back over there. I definitely need to get back over there. I was glad to see that my nephew was there as well. So we all went to dinner. It was just, you know, Dan and I, my sister-in-law, my niece and my nephew, and my niece's two little girls went and got something to eat, and it was good. It was really good. He, my nephew, had, uh, last month was a bad month, I'm telling you, but, um, or this past month, rather. But um, he had appendicitis, so had he had surgery for that, and he did well, and um, yeah, I don't know. As far as I'm concerned, I don't know. I'm still having issues with my foot. Um, I go to the podiatrist on Friday. I have to be there Friday morning, and from the way it's looking now, well, the last time I went, was after we got back from camping. I did go see him one time then. And at that point, he said that the um, plantar fasciitis seemed to be better, but that the um, tarsal, tarsal tunnel, tarsal tunnel um, had gotten worse. And I've uh, been doing what I'm supposed to be doing, wearing splint and icing and stretching and all that. Um, I don't know. The splint thing is, it's, it's almost like it's helping the um, plantar fasciitis, but it's irritating 
the tarsal tunnel and the Achilles tendon, whatever is going on with that, but uh, it's very painful. It is still very, very, very painful. It's been doing more swelling over the last couple of weeks, I've noticed. And so basically the outcome of that is probably going to be uh, surgery on my foot to get those three things taken care of and not looking forward to that. But, you know, we'll, like I said, I go see him on Friday. We'll discuss it, see what's going on with that. Um, I'm definitely, you know, if it boils down to that, which it's not going to happen anytime soon because, you know, the way everything works with insurance, they want you to do this. They tell the doctors what to do. It's a whole nother video. But more than likely, he'll probably do another round of um, cortisone shots. <laughs> God, brain fart cortisone shots and you know I'll continue on with the splint and the icing and the stretching and all that so because we do have some things coming up uh, the only if they do decide to do surgery on it it's not going to be not going to be until January ish maybe the first, maybe sometime in January the very at the latest first part of February because, you know, like I said, it depends on if that's the right he wants to go. It's going to de depend on insurance and all that. Um, plus, we got some things planned because it definitely have to be, it would have to be in January. That's all there is. So it would have to be in January, the beginning of February, because in April, you know, we, well, no, I guess it could be in February because, you know, it would be March. Anyway, in April, um, we're going to be going away, so... I want to get it done before that, so we'll see what happens. Other than that, that's about it. Um, not a whole hell of a lot going on. I will show you guys the um, I'll show you guys the China Hutch uh, probably t maybe tomorrow or whenever. But um, there's a backstory on that, and it's been around. That that piece of furniture has been it's been around. But. I'm going to start on, I know it sounds strange, but I'm going to start uh, canning here pretty quickly. Um, I'm going to do, get some jelly going. I'm going to do some grape jelly first and then see how that turns out and then see what else I can do. I had to order, um, doing a lot of arms. Anyway, I ordered a, uh, well, I got the kit canning kit and then I ordered a canner the bath canner from Amazon so that'll be here probably Thursday and then I got to go get the jars and the pectin and all that good stuff okay I don't know where it's I don't know where it cut off at anyway so I think I was, I was right in the middle of the canning thing when I heard the beep uh so yeah I ordered the canning kit the you know, utensils and the you know tongs and whatever and um I did order the canner the bath from Amazon that should be here on Thursday and then I just got to get the jars and the lids and the rings and the pectin and all that stuff I think I think I got that before but I don't know yet if so I'll edit it out but um, whatever but that's about it I'm gonna pick back up on the vlogs it's just been I haven't been doing too great this is not the time of year that I it's not the best time of year for me, you know, it really isn't. And you know, it's, as a matter of fact, the day that uh, we went to my niece's house, my sister-in-law's house was um, the 19th. And the 19th is definitely not um, a good day. That was the day mom passed, November 19th. And yeah, so, but, in all reality, it worked out because, like I said, we went over there. We had a good time with them, you know, visiting visiting with them. And I really didn't think about it that much, you know, while we were over there. It really didn't hit me until after we got back home and took the U-Haul back and all that. But, um, yeah, it's just not a good time of year for me. And I just, I go into...
shut down those basically i just i don't want to be i don't i don't want to deal i mean i don't want to deal anyway i mean you guys know that with the agoraphobia and all this other stuff going on i just don't i don't do well and this time of year rolls around i really shut down but um this year i it, it wasn't as bad as it has been in the past but i still need to work on it but in any case all right i'm gonna get up here for now um get this edited rendered edited and out so yeah i'm going to come back tomorrow with a regular vlog hopefully and um there's some other stuff i want to talk about too but basically i just want to come in and say hey and let you guys know that yes i'm still alive and everything is going okay so on that note i will talk to you guys later I'm not going to say see you tomorrow because I don't know, but in a day or so. All right. Love you guys.